Uh, hey YouTube, it's HD here, and um, right now I'm just gonna show you just like a bit of like what kind of like for the text, like what do I do to make it look like stylish and poppy without using the 3D text effect. Now I decided to voice over my commentaries because uh, a good friend of mine, suddenly HD, he sent me some uh, pretty cool people who um who enjoyed uh, my voiceover. So um, thank you, Sunderland HD. His link will be in the description, and he has a really nice c uh, c community channel going on. So um. Without further ado, here we go. So uh, right now, just let me just whip up just a little new stuff. You do 500 by 500. All right. Make a little better so you can see. All right. So sorry. <laughs> First off, what I'm gonna do is um. Just find a nice text that I want for this one to do this today. This is gonna be ginormous, but whatever. Actually, I don't know if I like that. That looks a bit too. Uh, no, actually, that doesn't look too bad. Alright, so let's just make this a bit bigger. Alright, so, um, you do not need Photoshop Center for this in my. Previous tutorial, which was the uh, 3D text effect, you do need Photoshop extended. But right here, I'll just show you some things that in your text that very nice, like uh, 3D effects. So let me just change the back of the color because usually uh, when you're doing this, black is the best color. So let's do lighter and kind of a lighter, more gray purple, sorry. Alright, one second. Oh, uh, actually, the little flat, well, that's just work on the background like I showed in my previous tutorial. This is just. Alright, th th that's fine, don't worry if your stuff doesn't stand out. So, or your text there, just double click on it. Um,. That was make a drop shadow. Change his drop shadow to on and he's and you check him out. And about 100. An and see how it's already standing out a bit more. Um, I always add an inner shadow too, but for this story, I'm not gonna do that. Um, instead, I'll use the inner glow feature. Uh, but take take down the opacity. And make it a bit less noticeable. Then we're gonna go to bevel and emboss because that makes it just like look like uh, that is more 3D. And I'm gonna hit texture, but that that just adds like a texture to, to like bevel and emboss inside. But that's not really a feature I use. I like either contour, but that makes it too dark or satin which makes it very dark but nice but I'm not going to use that today either um but uh I I always love the stroke because that just makes your text in uh, more but for this I'm gonna make it look like a bit shiny so to do that you go to gradient overlay make sure you have it for like this don't worry that's not what it's gonna look like you want to gonna double click on it or just one click, and uh, you can change like for instance, uh, let's do change the color because I love purple. No homo. All right, now uh, for the edges, start off with a darker purple because then uh, it gives it that uh, actually. Uh, just grab this one. Same color, and uh, then 
double cook that. Make it uh, a bit lighter, actually. Hit OK. Alright, so as you can see, the, it looks okay, but this font's a bit sketchy. Like, I don't know. I should have chosen a different font. But I guess for this tutorial, I'll try and just press OK. And um, this was just like a little tutorial showing you what I use. And I do for my text to be good. I really need like without here. having a uh, poor job thing. Usually when I do it, it'll come out like that, like nice and bright and see. But this is just a quick tutorial. Um so I thank you very much for watching and um and I'll be looking at my other tutorials. And if you enjoyed this video or learned from this video, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. That always helps me out. It helps me out a lot. And uh, try and keep the naughty comments. All right. Th th thanks for watching. Peace.